Blog Talk Radio. <laughs> Where you going? Where have you been? All around the world. I've been all around the world. I've been all around the world. London to Japan, Sydney to Amsterdam. Every place I went. All right. This is Dr. Moutoise. Welcome. Hey, doing, hey, this is Dr. Mutwas. How you doing? Georgia. This is Georgia? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Glad you're with me. Oh, man, Thank I'm going to be here. <laughs> wow, you was there real quick. Uh, let me just tell everybody about uh, the show a little bit and what we're going to do. I've been sending out some notices and letting people know that you were going to be here because uh, this is kind of a special show for us. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, we're getting, tonight we're talking a little bit about uh, the metaphysics of music because that's real big with me, you know. Um, I this see. Is primarily a health show, but it incorporates, you know, a holistic approach, which includes music, sound, and tone, nutrition, and prayer, all of that. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, man. I mean, we're, I like, I'm serious. Like, Delhi's, um, she's out working. But, um, I, you know, this, that, that's something that we both are very, you know, with, that, that's our life, you know, like, we dedicate ourselves to that kind of thing. And we really, uh, consider ourselves on, like, you know, dedicated to, to the healing of our people and of this, you know, planet's vibration, you know. And, and tuning in more like the healing, the planet's vibration, but just tuning into it. And, um, you know, that that's our work. So for, for to be on a show like this is, like, really touching for us because this is the main thing. We kind of get the people like you, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. That's, 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 that's you. Right. Yeah. I see you got a little one in the background back there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to do that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 yeah, we, you know, and we, you know we, we live a vegan lifestyle. So, you know, we see it work, you know, that's, that's, we, we live like that. So, you know, I, we're really happy to be on this show. And, you know, I mean, Dudley really wants to make it, but he's just, he's um, in another right, little right. city right now working. But, yeah, like, you know, he's really, really amped up about the community. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we definitely amp. I mean, we, uh, um, now, Declaim, we're supposed to have both of you on now. I understand yes. that he's going to be a little late or... Yeah, he it is later he won't make it. Hopefully he'll be late. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I mean, if he can, comes in, please let us know. We can join right in because, you know, I was just listening and, uh, you know, I've, I've heard of you. I hadn't listened to all of your music, but uh, friends of mine and people that I know, when I told them about you, they were like, oh, hey, I remember. You know, they got out, so... I'm hoping they checked in uh, because uh, you know we're all amped that you you're here. I mean because your, your music is hot. I mean you're you're doing something different with the music and you you know you're trying to be you know not trying. You are a different voice and that's you know that's what it takes now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know it does definitely takes that. And I think that uh you know I mean just dealing with sound too. Uh, you know, I know I know how important it is and how uh, powerful sound itself is. I, I I study a lot of that, and um, you know, I, I consider it one of the most effective means for creating consciousness shifts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, like, you know, that that can inspire somebody to eat right or to inspire somebody to, you know, you know, even for the whatever two minutes thirty five seconds, they can their their perspective can literally shift you know, just through music, and, um, you know, so so I try to I use that tool wisely, you know, and we, we really strive to use it wisely, you know. Now, I notice your your latest album, and you helped me with the spelling, I mean, the pronunciation, just in case, is Umsundo? Mm-hmm, Umsundo, mm-hmm. And, um, and that means sound, right? Yeah, sound or noise. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, and then, so and, yeah, and, and then in, uh, and also, it means rage. So it's like a whole bunch of different things. Right, right. And so, the, why was it in, 
important for you to to name it name it that. I mean, I know what it means, but because there are, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of other words you could have chosen, but outside of the yeah. fact that why was that so important to name it that? Was there an idea you were really trying to get across besides just? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, there, um, there's actually a poem I have on the inside of it, but basically it's saying, um, you know, I have this little poem series that's called The Battlefield of Om. And basically what it is is that, you know, it begins kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm here trying to, you know, maintain, uh, you know, an inner peace that can't be shifted by outside influences, you know. And I'm first, you know, trying to find it within, you know. And then the second poem is kind of like, you know, trying to leverage myself in between um, the current, you know, hardships that, you know, I and my people face every day mm -hmm. and still trying to lead a prayerful, you know, existence and, and a, like a stream of consciousness, you know. Right. And then the third one comes to um, the place where, you know, I'm calm because I know that this is a battlefield and I'm calm because I understand that I'm going to keep coming back here in this way until this battle is won. And, um, and so that peace is achieved through me understanding exactly where I am. <laughs> and it's a battlefield, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, um, right. you know, and so that's what Uncindo comes from because at the end of the poem wraps up that, you know, and, um, you know, after, you know, I, you know, I pledge to the other destruction of Babylon and everything, and, uh, and then, only then, is when I will live uh, as sound itself. I will live as sound itself in Zulu. You know, and that's then that's what I'm speaking of is like, and um, I, 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 I could, oh yes, Nakwade has a lot to say. <laughs> Nakwade, <is>, he's talking. <laughs> he's just agreeing, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, though, it's basically like uh, in Sindo, I chose the um, the Zulu language because I'm like really in love with their cosmology, you know, and how and how much is a resource that gets tapped all the time in science. Right. You know, like with Einstein down on down, you know, people have been taking credit for, for you know, for things that Zulu have brought to uh, to light. And also, I really could dig how they maintain, you know, their, their astral connection and um, within their tribal name, you know, that uh, that they're recognizing that their their lineage springs back to the universe and you know and, and their connection with it is very important and should be nurtured and that and that's why I chose the Zulu language. Um and, and you know, just for uh for a while now I, I've just been choosing not to name the albums the English name. Um I because see. I know that English you know, because English carries a vibration and it's enough that I have to think in English, you know. I mean there's a layer beneath it that doesn't think in English at all. It just thinks in sound. And um, but but uh, and I'm learning. You know, I'm pro I'm, I'm actively learning other languages also. But you know, this is the one I'm most fluent in, and I'm, it's also addressing that. That you know, like I have to most of the time. You know, I'm writing my poetry in English, and uh, you know, there's a lot that gets lost. There's a lot of nuance that gets lost with English. You know, so I just I decided you know a while ago just to either channel a name or be inspired by other African names, you know, for for right. the music, so that people can just know right off the bat that it's going to be something uh, culture, of culture and of, uh, you know, uh, of purpose, you know? Wow, this this, this powerful. And for, uh, let me just put on my announcers hat for a minute and let everybody know if you're just joining in, we're talking with Georgia Ann Modro. She just, her new album out is from Sendo, which means sound, and we're talking about the how powerful music can be metaphysically, how uh, music can be not just for healing, it can be protest. Uh, if you've heard her music, then you know uh, what I'm talking about. And if you want to call in to comment and ask her, Georgia, some questions, please call in at 646-649-1179. 646-649-1179. And uh, we're going to put that into the chat room, the name of the album, Sendo. And uh, for those of you wondering, U-M-S-I-N-D-O, 
So you touched a little bit on, on one of your one of the things you said were was about how uh, the you were, you were speaking about tearing down Babylon, and yeah. you, that's kind of a real strong statement from music. That yeah. I mean, the music is so laid back, though, in, in many respects. But it's <laughs> like that's what I know is about your music. It's it's real cool and it's laid back, but yeah. you're saying some some powerful things underneath that. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I, the way, yeah, I mean, the, the way that I try to, to do it is, um, uh, it's just two different stones that I'm I'm trying to, you know, trying to sharpen here, you know, because I'm aware that there are a lot of things that need to be just complete, just just completely eliminated, you know, certain trains of thought that need to completely be eliminated, but all the while, I know that if I'm if I'm pointing somewhere, you know, then, then there go them three fingers. You know, so, you know, so it's very, you know, there's two stones of sharpening in the, in the sense that, you know, all the while I know the, you know, the destruction of Babylon, but also to eradicate myself from the seeds that Babylon's planted in my mind and to, and to, um, and to rid that as well, because that's where it begins, because it ain't nothing but people we're talking about. So, right. um, you know, so that's, so those are two stones in sharpening, like, you know, to be aware of where we are here in this fight, but at the same time developing an inner, a spiritual, the spiritual reinforcement to be strong for the fight, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why, you know, there's a lot of, you know, meditative music, a lot of chanting and stuff like that. But right. also something I like to utilize is, you know, to break out of um, Eurocentric tuning systems. Mm. And Can I think that those, that? That, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, well, well, no, tuning system, well, it's huh? true. Well, yeah, because there's, there's, there's a tuning system that's going on. It's very Eurocentric, and they call it like A440. It's like where they tune most pianos and strings, like, you know, like classically, you know, or not even classical anymore. If you have, like, a computer program that has, right. you know, everything is playing together, you know, or, you know, just, you know, somebody has a guitar tune in their electronics and saying, hey, look, this is in key, you know. Right. And it's all according to um, this A440. And, I mean, I don't have the real historical, you know, I used to know them dates, but the historical right. thing about it was that there was a natural, there was a more natural uh, tuning system, at least in Europe. I mean, Africa, we do what we do still. Um, right. Or any church or whatever, you know, we still do what we do. But right. as far as, um, you know, musical stand, stands for, like, you know, releasing music and everything. There's been a standard where, you know, you have to hit this A440, mm -hmm. and uh, everything else is deemed out of tune. So what I do is I like to, you know, to, to go outside of the Eurocentric tuning. You know, I like to go outside of it and tune it up or tune it down, you know, mm -hmm. to wherever my heart says, to whatever, you know, the spirit that I'm telling is, is guiding me to, to tune it instead of um, have everything in the same uh, tuning system, you know? Well, I'm not, I'm not, I guess so I'm not, that's, yeah, yeah. You know, your music is like, um, it seems like, is that why it crosses the genres? I mean, you seem to have like funk, blues, a, a fusion. Yeah. You know, all in the same, you know, all in the same album. Yeah, I mean, you know, because, I mean, I, I don't really think that way. It's, you know, I, it's just like Dudley and I really... When it comes down to it, I mean, you know, we we're making black music, but uh, the, I think, but the thing is, is we're thinking more as um, in function than like genre. You know what I mean? We're thinking right. more like how this is going to be productive, what the effect is going to be, and and the process that we go through in order to create it. You know, like um, you know, Delhi has like a lot of funk music. You know, he has a lot of things like uh. With, with with our label, you know, some mothership connect, you know, it's like from the mothership right. connection mm -hmm. and things like that. But we some mothership because, you know, um, Dudley says because you know we we doing meaningful funk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so we're like yeah. meaningful funk. It's not we're not just gonna have something that's hard to read into. Like like real similar to your style, how you say you you when you say something like, hey, I'll tell you, check out a banana. You know what I'm saying? Something that somebody can take home right then and there and do well with so that they don't have to be spending years just to figure out what's going on with them and, right. and, and how to start. And, and that's, that's exactly what we're trying to do, you know. Like, you know, I mean, it should be something that can make your body move, but something to make your mind think and something to take you on, 
you know, an, an opening of your mind, or if your mind's already open, something to to let you know you're not alone. So, and, right. and I mean, it also something. Too. Yeah, and like like Delhi say, like you know, something that can expose and remove, you know, um, something that can expose and remove, you know, the you know some of these surface vibrations that are just floating on their own. Uh, right. You know, through through what sound is, you know, like sound waves are very huge. You know, like uh, you know, I learned that some years ago. Like, you know, sound waves are uh, are you know at least ten feet tall coming out of a speaker, at least. Wow. So wow. you know, you're dealing with a whole entity there that can do a whole lot. You know, I mean. So what was your what was your what was your path to this to to, to this to this point? I mean, what shape? would shape your background so that you started to make your music this particular way. Because you're really, you know, as I listen to your lyrics, and even when I was listening to uh, uh, Dudley's, his work, and uh, his rapper yes. named Declaim, for some of you, you are familiar with him, uh, mm -hmm. that, you know what I mean, has this metaphysical bent to it, and it, it's saying a lot more than, you know, the average person would say in their music. Yeah, yeah. So what shaped I, I, that for you? I think what shaped it is, you know, knowing, I mean, Dudley, you know, he's a really uh, unique being, you know, I'm, I, or I'm not saying, I won't say as much unique as he's a per he's a being with purpose, you know, like how you know you have a purpose here, right? you know, it's like, you know, he's always had a purpose and like his main, he, his main gift that he has is a, uh, that of a visual artist. He's a born visual artist, like when he was a small child he was like a prodigy in art and um you know like he writes upside down and like his whole mind is just re why do something else and he's always had a caring heart for this planet since he was little you know and um <laughs> yeah and, and um you know and he he's 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 a born um born artist but uh what what brought him to the music is that you know Art, art doesn't talk, you know, so it was open for interpretation, and he wanted something where he could reach his people, um, right. you know, through the art, but just something so that he can reach his people in, you know, while they're, like, you know, already not in their heads affirming whatever is going on. Well, why not put, why not use this for what it's for? Like, I, we both had, like, a very strong belief that music was invented for, you know, through, from, from a spiritual place, you know, being Africans and everything. You know, um, it, it's our responsibility to to um, to respect the origins of music itself, and knowing the power of music. You know, you know, music can bring rain down. You know, and that's why we got back into this European tuning is because the, it has way less power. Um, like you, I'm saying, like physical, actual being able to get things done. You know, I mean, they use sound to cut stone. That, you know, this stuff is proven. You know, that sound can do a lot of things. I mean, when you see what they when you see what they did in Katrina, you know, um, in New right, Orleans, right. and they had these sound devices that were shaped like kind of like octagons, and they were like kind of like convex these dishes, and they actually push a button behind it, and it's blasting these people back with sound. You know. Yeah, that's so when I see that, I'm, I'm, about, I'm, I need to have something for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Basically, you're right. you know you got, saying? You got, you got that comeback, right? Yeah, and, and you know, and though it's not in the same way, it's not engineered in the same way, just like in a villainous manner. I, I have understanding that, you know, just how you have an understanding that energy does not dissipate. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't die. You know, so there has to be something to to be there to counteract it on whatever level is still traveling. There has to be a sound wave assigned to it to, do, to completely transfer it to something positive and for the African purpose, you know? And, and, that's, wow. and that's what we're really here for. We are really here for that, you know? And, and we've taken a lot of, um, there's been a lot of people who have, you know, I've seen especially on, you know, Dudley's case, you know, or Declaim's case, you know, people who will just come out to hate on him and just to send a hate vibration and not even understanding what it is he's about because, you know, we're living in a country that's saying, hey, we're here to prevent, you know, we're the Federal Bureau of Investigation. 
I'm like, now if it if we really about investigation, we be, we really need to check out what's inside. But we got a federal bureau of investigation that's saying we need to do all that we can in our power to prevent the uh, black messiah, to prevent wow. the uprising of a black messiah when everybody who is black got it in them to be a messiah. You know, if you got melanin, then you got hope. See, and that's the whole thing. So. If you got somebody who is utilizing more of, you know, their, uh, the courage that it takes to access that melanin, to access that power, and to channel, you know, certain wisdom, you know, there's going to be a lot of obstructions. And, I mean, we've experienced it on a daily basis where, you know, we see people who, who are coming from um, even just a lesser experience and getting praised because they're uplifting a lower vibration, you know. But we make those sacrifices because, you know, we defer those sacrifices back to the ancestors and they, and they bless us, you know? Wow. I mean, you know, hold that thought, George, because I'm listening to you and I know people are going, wow, is she a musician or is she a messiah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you're, drop, you're dropping some jewels. And if you, that's why you should go out and check out her music because when I start listening to it, these are the same questions I was saying to myself, asking myself that your work, really speaks to more than just, you know, you know you're listening to more than just uh, somebody who's playing music. You actually yeah. are saying something. If you, uh, as well as uh, your partner, Declaim, a.k.a. Dudley Perkins, get yeah. his, um, what's his, what's his latest album that's out now, is coming out? His latest album is called Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes, right. Holy Smokes. Okay. And, and, and he yeah. called it that because it's like, you know, Holy Smokes, like, um, both of these albums are like our, our uh, real like wake up records, you know, where it's just right, like okay, right. you know, any any arts for art's sake that that's gone now, you know, mm -hmm. it's completely, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is completely, we're we're gonna create tools for awakening. Mm -hmm. We're gonna create, um, you know, things that are completely functional, you know, functional art in the African way, you know, because right. music was, is a functional art. It's not just sitting up there for entertainment. Entertainment is fake. You know, anything wow. entertaining for entertaining, that's fake. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Straight I up. If it's, not, if it's not teaching. But anyway, what I was going to say for, for, for Dudley is holy smokes because he realized what we really up against. You know, like, holy right. smokes, it's right. real. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Robbing a Batman fan. Holy smokes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> hey, but hold that thought. We're going to come back. We want to play uh, a cut and let people listen Absolutely. to, uh, you know, what I heard from your music. We played Dudley coming in. We're going to play you going on the break. We're going to come back. We're going to have Dr. Sunstar with us and then another part of mine who's heavy in the metaphysics and want him to comment oh, wonderful. A bit on the power of music. So sometimes we team up. So I'm glad you're on. Call in, 646-649-1179. And, uh... Appreciate y'all. Hold on. Yeah. When I'm down, I just draw some roses on a pretty piece of paper with my rest of me.
Right. And I'm man leaving him, songs, right. <laughs> you know, and, and I got a car and he don't and all this kind of stuff. Right. You know, I, I'm, right. I don't think that way. So, you know, really, those, those are the upper, those are the, the most thoughts I have are of the healing and, you know, and it's just kind of like, um, you know, Deli said something so beautiful yesterday, like, you know, every, every war requires music. Every war requires musicians. And, and the other thing about it is, us not understanding um, that that we're in a war and that there are musicians that are engaged and paid to play their part, but but it's on it's a hidden war on our senses and we really don't understand that we're in a war. A lot of us don't. Many of us do, and and and, and I'm happy that more and more people every day are understanding that. But um, right. you know, if, if if people getting engaged, if we seeing um, you know, saying Gucci Mane and, and Lil Wayne. You know, and not understanding it's a war, and and that's the music for that side, and that sleep consciousness. You know, then uh, you know, well at least right. we, you know, Dudley and I are going to engage ourselves for for the behalf of the people who are choosing to awaken themselves. You know, little by little. So we're not going to see a collab so, yeah. between you and Gucci Mane no time soon. Nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, uh, you know, my apologies. I didn't mean to call no names out, but you know, I mean, right, I, I'm not really right, scared yeah. if, if that's what right, it is. Like, I you know, I, I, to me, I, I feel like, you know, for as far as having the resources that are, that are required to live and survive, right. there's spiritual laws, you know, and and I think that that um, when you live in tune with those spiritual laws, then your 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 daily life is taken care of for you to live right. in the truth. But a lot of people are here selling out thinking that that's the only way that they can survive and um, because they, 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 they only are existing on one rotation, one vibration, which is the physical. And, you know, there are so many different realms of awareness, you know, that I ain't here, that, that, um, that, that even your, your highest guru ain't here because it's, it's an infinite place, you know what I mean? Right. And, uh... You know, and, and so I don't really got the time to just be addressing all my needs on the physical level. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. when I know that I got the equipment and I got the chip, you know, to really hook it up on, on the, in, in the way that I need it fulfilled, you know, like, you know, my survival, speaking of the survival. So, and, and that's what we're, you know, that's our message. Like, hey, look, there's spiritual laws here, and you pay for what you put out, you know? Wow. Mm -hmm. You pay for it. You know, so if you just, you know, if you're marketing this music to children, you know, and it's easy for them to learn, you know, it sounds like an ice cream chug jingle, but it's saying some of the most, you know, grown folk, or not even grown folks, but just like grown up children, like, I don't know, like, just of the flesh, singing, you know, hymns of the flesh is what I call it, you know, and they're hymns of the flesh, and, um, you know, and that's cool. But when you're a child and you don't really have that type of discernment, then that's not cool. Then that's okay. Then that's a war, you know. Did you and, start and that's off how as a we poet? Did, it. Uh, hmm? did you start off as a poet? Yes. You know, Dudley Dudley is the same too. He's a poet. You know, his other moniker is Poet Past the Week. So that's mm -hmm. the, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we, we're very much you know poets, both of us. Right, right. I mean, because you you can really hear that in. In your choice of words, you know, and um, it really feels like you written a lot of poetry in your time and turned it to the page. And and a lot of uh, singers in the past have done that, uh, which leads me to ask you, how do you feel about the comparison to some of your contemporaries like Erica Badu and Lauren Hill? And, you, know, you know, I mean, that's, you know, I, I you know, I recognize that that's the best way people can you know, address something that they've never heard before, you know? And I realize that, and it's beautiful, because I think that both of them women are queens, you know, they're beautiful, you know? Um, you know, but I, I think that we are different, you know, we have a varying purpose, but uh, but I think that, uh, you know, it's an honor. I mean, them, them sisters have, you know, sacrificed to say what it is they're trying to say. And, uh, right. you know, for me, I, I like to go on a more literal level myself, but, uh, you know, because I don't feel like the truth should be implied. I feel like the truth should be told. Right, straight out. <laughs> but I'll go with a rose, with a rose. I'll give you this rose, but I'm going to hit you with a rose. With a rose, though, with a rose. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Iron fist in the velvet glove, right? 
<laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> yeah, but you know, I mean, you know, and I mean, Deli, man, I wish he was really, I mean, you know, he yeah. went late, but, you know, but Deli, he, he's serious about that. He's serious. And, you know, his whole thing is, yeah, if you can't understand it, it ain't for you. So now what, now, you were telling us a little bit about your background. So um, besides your contemporaries, on outside of the comparison to your temporaries, who influenced you, though? Because, you know, you can't really place you, per se. I mean, you you tap, you dip into different genres, and you're developing this kind of, you know, omni-style, if you will. No, <laughs> omni-style. Well, you know, well, saying omni, I mean, you know, Sunrise, like, beautiful. I mean, I, I'm very inspired by his fearlessness. Right. You know, because that. Sunrise. Sunrise was into using the music as as an actual literal ship, and that's what we're doing also. Mm-hmm. So I really understood that, and I really love how fearless he was in um, helping change people's lives, and how literal he was with helping change people's lives and touching lives one at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, George Clinton, I mean, you know, for, for what you can take from it, very influenced by, um, you know, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, very influenced by, you know, I mean, Bootsy as, as a musician, wonderful person, um, very influenced by, by you know, like Lauryn Hill and, you know, seeing her doing her thing when I was younger, mm-hmm. you know, and just seeing, like, hey, wow, that's a beautiful black woman, very influenced by uh, Nina Simone and, I mean, just anybody who's willing to break out of the, um, right, I see. breaking out of a... Uh, <laughs> Breaking out of, you know, the entertainment sector mm. and making it into something that is that, that, that can be used, you know. Um, there's all types of people, you know. I mean, I, I really love, uh, you know, Max Roach and Abby Lincoln. What they did together was quite amazing. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm all, I love all types of music. I'm very, I love, you know, Zimbabwean music and, you know, the rain music that actually brings rain down. Uh, you know, I mean... I, I'm inspired by people who, by people who don't even do music, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm inspired by by children, you know. My children, I'm inspired by. I mean, Dudley's my greatest inspiration. That's actually my my literal um, muse. You know, he right. he's the person that really brought my consciousness to the forefront and let me know that I could do it. You know. How did y'all start collaborating? We started collaborating on his record. He had a record called Expression. It's a great record. Expressions mm-hmm. 2012 AU. Right, about three years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, do you think about 2012? I, I, he, he would always say 2012. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, because I was into reading, like, you know, the Papa Vu, certain, you know, creation books and, and things like this. Right. And I'm like, man, who, who, like, what you know about 2012? Right. He said, nah, he said, I had a dream of it. I'm like, well, for real? That's all. He's like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying 2012 because I had a dream. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this is interesting. So, like, I mean, Delhi's amazing because his knowledge of the metaphysical realm is very uh, personal. You know, it's not like he read a book and now he's speaking on it. You know, like I see a lot of brothers who mean the, mean very well. You know, you know, what I'm saying sometimes they recite in this book and trying to defend the book. You know, right, right. Instead of just you know, actually having a personal experience with the information. And, uh, you know, just to see, you know, Dudley, I mean, I was really inspired by that and inspired by him. And the, first time, the first time I met him, I loved him. I seen a, 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 this bright, very bright aura, like a white aura around Dudley. And I was like about 50 feet away from him or more. Mm-hmm. And he was on stage. He wasn't even performing. And I seen this big old aura. I was like, well, I hope you're a good-looking brother because I know that's the guy. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's the guy, you know, and right, walked right, up on him, you know, and said, oh, right. wow, you know, and right, then, you know, right. something happened like that, and I heard everything in his mind, and it was really deep, because that had never happened to me like that way, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, and then, you know, I mean, so we, we've been, I mean, I really do maintain it, that's, that's my kindred spirit, and I feel like that's my twin soul, because, you know, it didn't take no time for us to communicate to each other what we were trying to do on this planet, and um, and it, and it was one and the same. 
you know, right. to uplift, to, to uplift through the funk, you know what I mean, through through funk, and um, and you know, and, and when I was taking Wolof off of a beautiful site called the Bibi Tumi Casa, um, it's a beautiful resource. Anybody who you know, all your brothers and sisters, it's a beautiful resource. You know, Bibi Tumi Casa, great resource if you're trying to like get back to your uh, get get back to an African, you know. Oof. State of mind. There's all types of different things there, you know. Yeah. But um, you know, I was learning Wolof off of that site, off of uh, mm-hmm. from, from from Brother Obadale, and um, and we got to the word funk, and I and they and he said funk meant to respect, and I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, we want the funk, right? You know, definitely, definitely want the funk then. You know, so that's the funk right. with the O. So we do the funk with the O. Right. right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really about it. Yeah, yeah, funk with all. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that's again, that's why, you know, I'm, you know, I'm one of your new fans because I like the, the meaning and the education behind what you're talking about because you're not only writing songs, you can break the song down and then give us a part of ourselves in yeah. the music, and that's we, that's what we don't get. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we're not yeah. getting that with our music. What I want to do, I want to play one more cut. Because oh yes, but I'm sorry, I'm just hauling all the time. <laughs> yeah, um, I think we got to cut uh, this ESP. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's dedicated to my to my daughter. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna let them listen to it a little bit. We're gonna come back. We got a, a few minutes, but I want them to hear this because I want everybody to be familiar with George M. Or if you have not heard it, you should go out and check out the music. Uh, because this is a young artist trying, you know, is saying something with the music, and we don't hear that enough from our people. Here's his ESP. Check it out. Look 
up in the sky, I can't believe they tryna kill us. Look up in the sky, I can't believe they tryna kill us. And I don't know why. I can't believe they tryna kill us. Look up in the sky. I can't believe they tryna kill us. Look ma in the sky, they tryna kill us. Their tactics, they tryna scare us. Ever since that day, they tried to steal us from Africa. And Unaki sit back, fat and laugh at us. With no solar or windmills. Global warming is so real. Here, take the blue or red pill. Deep sleep or be woken up. All our leaders are so corrupt. All the earth's oil's been soaking up. Now pollution got me choking out. And now my lady's barely poking out. All the life hopes and dreams got me broken, then thrown out. Whenever the sunshine come out again, it seems to be what life's about, my friend. May God bless every child, woman, and man. Here we go again. 36,000 years and counting, time to see what made the oceans, what made the mountains, what created the moon. As the ice melts, can we now all get in tune? And even though the flowers bloom, still got these dreams of an incoming doom. Can't seem to shake it, earthquake it, can't escape it. So I guess I just gotta learn to love it. Death can't be that bad. My grandpa had a smile on his face when he left this place. That's what he had. Still, that made me sad. Tears streaming down my cheek like when them levees sprung a leak. So shock couldn't speak for a week. But I ain't weak, huh? I'm strong like King Kong, fighting for justice, right? What's wrong through song? Like the late great Marvin, what's going on? Spiritual healing, a little. As they would say in the club, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah, believe they're trying to kill him. He, yeah, he's going he down on that, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Almost, he yeah. almost made me pull my skates out on that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know I love working with Dudley. Like you know, that's that's yeah. the funniest. Yeah, right. man. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you listen, we got Georgia and Modro before that on uh, on that uh, EST, and and then we followed up with Declaim on Kim Trails. So these are both yes. two artists that I'm excited about, and I want to see. Hope y'all continue to blow up. Um, so how did you come up with ESP? What was what was the genesis of that? Well. Ezzy came, my daughter Ezzy, Ezzy so pretty, Perkins, that's EST, she's, she's, um, she's six years old now. I think she was five when she told me. Okay. And, you know, this is like the same week when she started telling me about her light vision and stuff yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. And, um, <laughs> and speaking of light vision, so with no quad, it says dad when, when dad's on his way home. So he's going to be here. He'll probably be here very soon. But um, but but uh, but as you would talk about her light vision, you know, my light vision could see this and that, you know, and then she could actually see through walls, you know. Um, mm. and she came up to me one day and said, Georgia, <laughs> I'm an African princess brain, and I just stood there like, well, I guess my work is done. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Right. I, guess I just got to see you. If, you. if you know that, then that's just going to manifest into, to, you know, whatever is the next level of that. And, and I was so it. inspired. Yeah, and, and after after uh, she said that, I, it just inspired the song, you know, that night. It, it inspired that, you know, the African princess thing, you know. Mm. Wow. So is this your first like, album? No, th this, is, uh, this is my second full-length album. Yeah. Oh, this is your second full-length album. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was the name of your first album? The name of the first one is called Olesi, Fragments mm -hmm. of an Earth. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you recorded that when, like, what, a couple of years ago or last year or something? Yeah, I, th and I think in 2006. Yeah, 2006. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is it anything like this one here? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of different it's the same things on vibe. It. It's the same type of vibe. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, in, in as much as that you're the same person that you was in 2006. Yeah. Which I, which I am not. <laughs> I'll be trying right. to improve. <laughs> right. You you have evolved. You have evolved. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to make it new every year. Yeah. Every day, right. you know. I mean, uh, there was, now there was. I was listening to some of your older cuts, and like on the one on nothingness, and uh, it's just some of the lyrics that in your words that all that resonated with me. You, like on in nothingness, you you know you have a lyric in there that that talks about daydreaming won't lead me to my 
my pot of gold. Mhm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What were you what were you saying there? Like it's it's time to wake up now. I mean, you know. That's what yeah, doing. absolutely. That's that's what it was about. It's like you know, if, if you could talk about it, but if you don't be about it, it won't be there. And that was at a time when I really, really feel like it was not. I was not feeling it. I didn't feel like it was there, and it was a very sad point in my life. You know, uh, that music. You know, I mean, you know, uh, there's a lot of things, but I all I always knew I had to put something in there that that resembled something like hope. You know. You know, just so I can listen back to it without being completely embarrassed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, absolutely, you know, I mean, I've come to understand that I'm worth a lot. <laughs> and I'm just not worth nothing, you know. So, I, you know, I've come to understand and, you know, I'm open to that growth. And, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of different things on that record that are wonderful. And uh, yet there's a lot of things on that record that are very sad, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, I spend a lot of time telling people that just what you said, that you are worth a whole lot and that yeah. what you have, make sure you're taking care of it. That's right. You know, making sure you I mean, I mean, I mean, some seaweed right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I mean, me some seaweed right now. There you go. That's Get your good. eye done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm not Side trying to be loud right? on the phone, but it's good. Yeah, there you go. That's all right. Smack on. Smack on. Even good. Even good. Love to hear that. I mean, because we want you around for a good while. Keep, 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 music. keep telling us about about self in a way, you know, music where you can boogie to and, and still get something out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, that, that's our whole mission. That's our whole mission. Right. You got a message with the music. Yes. You know. Yeah, we we so, really are. I've been on access and the warriors. They already know how to see walk. You know, mm -hmm. we try we try access them kind of people too. Even though I know the message right. you know, it might take a little time, but the music will definitely be there. Do you, you know? have any uh, worries about being uh, ever being considered a threat? I mean, because just listen to your music, mm -hmm. you're saying a lot of powerful things. And you, earlier mm -hmm. you mentioned the FBI and all of that. Are you if your music gets to that place? Is that something that worries you? No, because if it gets if it's getting there, that means I'm doing something right, and and you know really uh, you know this you know every breath is an eternal moment, and it's supposed to be spent to its utmost potential, and that's what we're all trying to get to. So I, I you know I, I really really couldn't care about who's threatened, you know, because they they even if I wasn't making no music, they'd be living from a place of being threatened, you know. That's just that metaphysical bent on it that I have, like you know the whole reason why. They choose to threaten this planet and this earth, this earth's livelihood, because their whole vibration is of that of being threatened. You know, <laughs> they want to be a threat because that's all they know. Is, you know, but for me, I'm you know I'm 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 into I'm into life and to living it, and expression, full expression, the freedom of expression, and, and uh, you know freedom to be as black as I want to be. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, because when somebody be as Japanese as they want to be, that's just beautiful and cultural in this world music. Right. You know, they call it world music. They call it world music. Right. Yeah, they call it world music, right? Yeah, they call it world music. If somebody want to be Peruvian as they want to be, you know, mm. it's world music. Or if somebody want to, you know, be as Norwegian, as they want to be, it's, it's perfectly fine. But if somebody want to be as black as they want to be, right? That's it becomes a problem. So for me, I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> oh well, right. Right. <laughs> that's it. Oh well, I'm in too deep now to turn back. That's just gonna look right. bad on me. Right, you right. <laughs> You're not gonna. You know, you, you know, like right. how you gonna go back and be like, okay, now, um, everyone take some. Um, if you feeling sad now, you gotta take you some Zoloft, you know. Like you see, you know, it's not gonna look good on you. You be like, man, I already told him to check out a banana. So how yeah, gonna, you, know? you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, check me out. Hey, keep it simple, but keep it powerful. You know. Yeah, keep it simple and powerful. You know, and and that's that's the deal. You know, I mean, that's really the right. deal, and, and that's why I respect your work. You know, because it reminds me a lot of uh, how uh, Delhi communicates. He's just especially, you know very to the point, you know, 
he's right. very to the point. There's not, it's not no, you know, not no, you know, and some, you know, like my mind, I can tolerate a lot of, you know, extra information that I can research and that kind of thing, just, just for something to do. But, um, but I know that the stuff that hits home that I can play for people who, you know, play for myself when I really just need to do something, you know, right. that I can do something right now, look at my fridge and see the best. <laughs> and right, do the best yes. for myself. And I think that that's what people need. They need something that they can really apply as soon as possible before they forget. Right. I mean, you, your music is good enough to, to eat. You know what I mean? That's what you want. Yeah. It's good yeah, enough to that's, eat, that's what you feel the do. soul, feel the belly, you know? Yeah, and it does. It actually, you know, if it's going within your ear hole, then you are ingesting that. So it's, it's doing a lot of things, you know? Right. It's right. a lot Matter of things. Fact, so you had a song that said, was called Low Main, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. And I mean, and that's one of the songs I look back and just be like, wow, that's that's not what I was trying to do with my my music, you know? Because uh -huh. because I don't really think that that's the way life should be. I think that uh, you know, that was before I um, embarked upon my quest in mm -hmm. being uh, a queen mother. That was before right. I turned my life around, and wow. and um, and I didn't see the potential, the inner potential I had of being a queen mother, you know, but now I'm very excited in that time that, that I'm embarking upon that path to one day becoming that, you know. Yeah. Well, all your titles are really straightforward and simple, you know what I mean? I, you know, you look at some albums and the titles are as long as the song itself. <laughs> <laughs> but you have these one word, these one hit of quitters, like next. <laughs> I told you what the name of the song is. Now you got to listen to it. If you, want to, you know what I mean? <laughs> there it is. So I'm there liking that, you know? I'm liking that. I think we got at least one question coming. Okay. Got about 90 uh, seconds. Yes, ahead, um, enjoying the music. Yeah, enjoying the music very much. Uh, what is it like to be a female in the industry? You know, is there a lot of pressure on you to look a certain way or be mm. a certain way? Mm. I think that that pressure is is synthesized. You know what I'm saying? I, th I think that pressure is. Um, well, first of all, give thanks. You know, for even caring about the music. But I, I think that uh, that that pressure is synthesized, and um, because I don't feel it at all. You know, I my most of my life is you know spending time with my family and my sons and daughters and my beautiful husband. You know, and he doesn't pressure me to do that. He just pushes me to be more of who I am. So that's that's all I really know myself. But I, I do see, like, you know, within the magazines and things like that, you know, there is a, a blind eye towards, you know, the creativity that a woman brings to the table. It's more about what she's, you know, creating with her wardrobe, you know. <laughs> but, but, but uh, you know, and that's cool, too. But I think that you should have, that there should be a balance there. But, um, you know, I really think that that's all synthesized for a sister like me to be, to become disheartened, but it didn't work. You know, they didn't do their math right. Right. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. Because I know, I, you know, because woman, woman is creative. Woman is, you know, you know, we, can't nobody say a woman don't know how to create nothing. So, I mean, that's just, wow. you know, I mean, that's just hey, the you, truth that goes beyond, you know, industry. George, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's been just hot having you on here. We got ten seconds. 15 seconds left, oh, right. and uh, next time you bring uh, Mr. Declaim with you. Yeah, you got to do one on him, because I just got to be here on myself. You know, he got to do one by himself, because he got a whole yeah. scroll for him. So let's you make know. it happen. And, and I mean, and to Dr. Uh, Sun, what, what's, what's your name, brother? Sun Star. Uh, Sun Star Divine. Yeah, Sun Star Divine, man. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot for being here listening, because I'm sure you had a whole lot of things, you know, to share. Oh yeah, well I was actually uh, enjoying uh, what you were saying, and uh, like I said, I really do like your music. And this is my first oh, time. Oh man, anniversary. thanks a lot. Yeah, and, right. And thank you so much, Dr. Mutwazi. You know. What I mean? Yeah. See, this we got people it. just came in the chat room, but they just listening, checking you out, and so sometimes that's cool too. Uh, appreciate the callers to call in, and ask your music, and sometimes it's, this is about music, so sometimes it's just better just to chill out and listen and hear what the artists got to say. Yes. Yes. Thanks so, so much. Appreciate so. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. We'll get back and uh, stay linked. If you on MySpace, I'll try to find you so I can link up with you there or something. Oh, yeah. Both of us are there. Both of us are there, yes. Okay. And the quality says bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Hey, tell them thanks. Hey, tell them thanks for the interview. We appreciate it.
Appreciate y'all, Dr. Mutual. Next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Tune in again.